Hello Transformer Geeks, welcome to another video review brought to you by Superhuman Productions and your one and only D Casanova. Now this time is well <laughs> it's a three pack. Um as you can see this box is kinda of beat up. Well I got this off of uh Bobacon Toys. Um I paid thirty five bucks for this and I gotta say, good deal. Good deal. Anyway, so these are the Metal Beast Brothers from Robots in Disguise. We have Slapper, Gas Gunk, and Night Scream. And for those of you who uh, know a thing or two about these molds, you may know that these are all repaints of Beast Wars figures. Um, Slapper, I believe, is... A repaint of Transmetal 2 Spetor from Beast Wars. Gas Gunk is a repaint of Stink Bomb, Transmetal 2 Stink Bomb. And Dark Scream is a repaint of Transmetal 2 Night Glider. Honestly, I think Night Glider is a bit more appropriate for this mold. But that's just me. Um, so yeah, they appeared in Robots in Disguise. Um... Dark Scream is some sort of flying squirrel or bat. I think he looks more like a bat. I mean, ugh. Gas Skunk, as his name implies, transforms into a skunk. And Slapper transforms into a frog, lizard, toad thing. Alright, confession. I have no idea what the hell he's supposed to be. Like, he kind of looks like a frog, but the way his legs are, they kind of look more like a lizard. Um, but then again, I think he was called a toad in Robots in Disguise. Um, honestly, though, I have no idea what the hell he's actually supposed to be. But, yeah. Now let's take a look at these guys one by one. I'm going to start with Slapper since he's my least favorite. But then again, all three of these guys, they're actually kind of cool. Anyway, Slapper, he's kind of a uh, pinkish magenta. It's got some black, and I like the gold fade here. It's pretty nice. Um, I saw a Transmetal 2 Megatron at Bobacon, and his tail had this sort of gold fade. That was pretty cool. Um, we also have blue chrome up here in the middle of the back we have some metallic bronze or orange on top of the head and we got this metallic green for the eyes um, and we also have this nice silver fade on the claws that that's pretty cool um, yeah and he also has this weird tongue thing in his mouth that you can take off. Um, the mouth can open and close. Get a bit of added realism. Um, what's something that Slapper would say? Uh, time for you to surrender, Autobot! I don't know. <sighs> I haven't watched the show in a while, but now, he does have an attack feature in this mode. Um, all it is, really, is you raise this blue thing up, and it becomes some sort of attack claw. Eh, it's alright. Um, and as you just heard, it locks into place. So. Yeah. So that's Slapper. Dark Scream. Flying Squirrel. Um, he's kind of a sky blue with, um, some silver, light gray, um, some very nice chrome. I like that. I, I like that. I like that. Um, he's also kind of got a, a yellowy silver around the eyes, which are painted red, as are these odd turbines. Well... This one looks like a full-on turbine when it stopped. 
This kind of looks like it, a spinning turbine. Um, underneath, yeah, you got robot junk, like legs and the back of his head, but really, that's kind of to be expected. You can also see his forearms, like, ugh, yeah. This is just, that's just lazy. Um, he does have articulation in this form, like, we got bald joints at the uh, shoulders here, and these joints here are also on bald joints. Um, and the tail can also bend up and down. Um, can't turn it side to side, but oh well. <laughs> so, yeah. Dark screen. Uh, gas skunk here. He's a skunk. He's got black, silver, yellow, a little bit of red, and it's got some chrome pipes on the sides. Um, and considering that these are transmetal 2 molds, they're asymmetrical. Um, he's got some chrome on his tail and some metallic orange on the sides. Um, pretty nice. Nice Nicely done. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, yeah, um, legs are posable. Um, his back legs are a little awkward. Um, and we have these flippable yellow things here. Um, I guess that in there could be a, like a stink bomb grenade or something. On this side, though, we have. Uh, is Predacon Spark Crystal. Um, one of the only other... Uh, actually, I think the only other Transmetal 2 figure that could do this sort of thing was uh, the Transmetal 2 Cheetor. So, um, also the tail has a um, hinge joint here, and that joint is also connected to a ball joint, so... Yeah. Um, his head's fixed, but really, I think that's because of the transformation. So, um, I don't think I, uh, mentioned Slapper's articulation. Um, yeah, he's got it, but really, there's just no point. I mean, it looks awkward anyway. Every which way you try to pose him. Um, He's just weird. But, with that said, let's go ahead and get these guys transformed. Um, they're pretty basic and simple. Um, for Slapper, get the back legs out of the way, and then... <laughs> you open his mouth pretty wide, <laughs> like that. Take the lower jaw and flip that up. See his head in there. Oh, and there's his Predacon Spark Crystal. Um... Take the lower legs and you turn them around like that. Um, man, those joints are pretty stiff. <sighs> and then you bring the back legs down. These are going to become his arms. Um, then you take this section, um, lift that up on this hinge up here and try to bring it out as far as you can um, but keep it up a little bit then you're going to want to raise his beast head um, bring okay this is on a weird set of hinges like how do I do this okay you want to try and bend the head down a little bit so you can get the clearance to fold this out and then turn it to where it's normal like that. Then you fold this piece up on this hinge in here and then on this joint you spin this whole thing forward and then on that same hinge we lifted we fold that down to lock this whole section into place. Um, it doesn't really lock or peg it 
pretty much just sits there, but it keeps everything in place. So bring the beast head down, bring that bit down, like that, and we have a um, Cybertronian Hunchback. Robots in Disguise Slapper. Um, the tongue, um, you can do one or two things with it. Like, there's a hole right here. Um, you can peg it in there for uh, weapon storage if you want. Um, there's also holes in his hands. Um, you can peg them in. You can peg it into there. Be some sort of spiked weapon. I don't know. But you can also deploy um, the attack claw if you don't pop it off. Ugh. Why the hell did I do that? Anyway. So. That's Slapper. Um, he has a ball joint in the head, but... You know, since it pretty much moves in an odd manner, there's pretty much little to no point. But, there is that. It's got ball-jointed shoulders, ball-jointed elbows, hinge at the wrist... Ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, um, ball jointed ankles, and ah, he also has a waist rotation. Nice. Uh, like I said, when he was in beast mode, he's my least favorite. But then again, these guys are all pretty cool. So, there's Slapper, uh, Dark Scream, um, First things first, you want to take this thing out, which is like a sword scabber thing. Um, straighten out his legs here and straighten out his feet. Um, get the beast claws like that. Um, get his robot head out. Um, fold that around like this um and I think ah okay so you take the whole wing section and you try to fold it back like this uh, bring the arms down a little bit on these hinges like halfway and then take the tail and fold that back like that <sighs> push that so the rest of the way down turn his head around like that. And bring his robot arms the rest of the way down. And there you go. We got Dark Scream. Now his weapon, you can store it in his tail like in beast mode. Um, or you can... <laughs> You can put it in his hand, like that, so he's ready to fight. And there's his Predicon Spark Crystal. Um, like his head. Looks an awful lot like the show, I think. Um, his articulation, um, he has a ball joint at the neck. You can also look up to see the death coming. Um, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, he has a waist rotation, ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, ball jointed ankles, um, and he's also got actual hands, so that's pretty cool. So there's Dark Scream. Huh. I underestimated his standing ability. Um, and Gas Skunk, his transformation is actually pretty weird. First things first, take the skunk head and fold that in. And... <laughs> okay, now this is funny. Like, the Decepticons, Predacons, the bad guys of the Transformers... Like, a lot of people say that they're a bunch of buttheads. Well... <laughs> yeah. His head is actually in his butt. Like, literally. Talk about the butt of many jokes. Anyway, so, yeah. You fold that down. 
straighten out the front legs, straighten out his feet, and turn those around. If I can. Turn the feet around, and then turn them around at the waist. Um, you want to lift this panel that the head is on, fold this whole area up so that the beast head is in his back, and then you fold the head panel back down. Um, turn rear legs down, fold up beast feet. Um, you're also going to want to like knock the camera. You also want to turn these pipe things up. Man. Like that. And then from the back of the beast arms, fold out his forearms and hands. And that is Gas Skunk, and he has the scissor blade on his tail. Um. He's a little top and back heavy, I think, because of the tail. Or at least I think it's because of the tail. Um, like I said, the tail is on a ball joint and a hinge. Um, the head itself is also on a ball joint. Um, a little limited, though. Um, take a look at the head. Kind of looks like a sumo wrestler, or a wrestler of some kind, anyway. Um, he has very tight ball joints at the shoulders, ball joint and hinge at the elbow. Um, he does have a waist rotation, thanks to the transformation. Um, he has ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, ball jointed ankles. Um, I think Slapper's the only one with any, uh, like, wrist mobility. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, if I were to rate these guys from uh, favorite to least favorite, um, of the group, Gas Gunk is my favorite, Slapper's my least favorite, and Dark Screams Kind of like in the middle. Ah. There we go. Get him standing. <laughs> Alright. So, there you go. Metal Beast Brothers. Gas Skunk, Dark Scream, and Slapper. Um... Let's bring in Megatron. R.I.D. Megatron. Um, you know, they look alright with him. Um, yeah. There is that. Uh, what else? Ah. Here he is with R.I.D. Optimus. <laughs> There's that. Um, and I dropped Optimus. Damn it. Oh. And since these are Transmetal 2 Beast Wars molds, here is Beast Wars Optimal Optimus with them. Yeah. I love this guy. I love this guy. I want to do a video of him one day. Um, so. <sighs> so, what do I think about these guys? Well, they're alright. They're not perfect, but, you know, they're okay. Um, are they any good? Yeah. They're definitely good. Do they look good? Uh, mm, 
they're okay as far as appearance goes. Um, I like the variation of colors that we have going on here. Um, but really, I'm not full on digging the aesthetic. Um, but I will admit, this aesthetic is actually uh, pretty nice compared to um, some of the figures that are coming out these days. Um, and plus, these guys actually have heads that are actually built onto their bodies. So, <laughs> yep. Would I recommend these guys? Um, if you like robots in disguise, you're definitely going to like these figures. If you like the Beast Wars and the Transmetals, you're going to like these guys. If you're a fan of neither, well, these guys are probably still worth a look. Um, uh, the rating. I'm going to give uh, Slapper a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give uh, Dark Scream a, um, a 7.5, and, and I'm going to give Gas Skunk a, uh, an 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> so, what would that average off to? 8.5, 7, 7.5, um, you know, I think I'm gonna rate the whole set overall as an 8 out of 10, so, yeah, I would definitely go looking for this set if you can, if you can find it, I would get it. This set is definitely worth uh, looking into. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.